okay so in this video we will see about uh, one of the function uh, and uh, this function is basically related to the pandas module right so we will see like uh, what the get dummy is uh, will do and uh, why we have to use it when we have to use it so all these uh, thing we will see so panda has so many function but uh, in this video we will see about the get dummies function get dummies function is generally very useful and uh, in day to day life uh, like uh, we generally used uh, like if someone uh, is the data scientist or uh, is someone is a machine learning engineer so get dummies function is very handy so one should aware uh like uh, why we have to use the uh, get dummies function and uh, what are all the like uh, various uh, parameters so we will explore uh, a few of the parameters so let's see so first like uh, uh, to apply any function so first we need the data right so i created a one dictionary and uh, in the dictionary uh just i have the one column uh, that is, is a normal column uh, column name is uh, a sex and the column values are uh, i have gave some column values and the column values are male male female 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 and i gave uh, one nan values because uh, in real data we generally have the blank value as well so nan so i use the np dot nan uh, uh, attribute uh, to use the nan values right then i am creating a data frame uh, using the dictionary right so now we have this data frame which we have the five values so sex it is male male female female and uh, uh, female and so why the np dot nan is not a, uh, okay it's showing the first five and so last one is the nan right so generally what we will uh, do is even i generally uh, prefer is uh, i was earlier i was not aware about, of the get dummies uh, function so if we have to feed this data into the machine learning so let's suppose we have uh, we have uh, one csv data and, and in the csv data and uh, we have uh, multiple so many columns and one of the columns is the sex so we can't uh, feed this uh, a categorical column uh, to the machine learning uh, model because machine learning generally work on the numerical data so if we have to feed the data to the machine learning uh, uh, the data should be the numeric numeric means uh, it should be like uh, uh, digits like 1 200 or any any digit right but it is a, a numer uh, like uh, categorical data categorical data means like it's alphabetical a, a b c d right so we have categorical data so we can't uh, feed this uh, data to the machine learning so what we have to do is we have to like uh, convert this data to the uh, numerical feature so uh, uh, like suppose like we can convert male to uh, 1 and female to 0 or male to 0 or female to 1 it's up to us like how we can convert so this uh, this example like uh, i took uh, from the Uh, Kaggle competition. So when we have the Kaggle competition, like uh, uh, let me show you. So this is the Titanic competition, which is a very basic competition. So if I go to the data tab and uh, under the data tab, and uh, we have three files. One is a train file, test file, and gender submission. So it is a submission. Ignore that. It is a test. Also ignore that. It is a train. so if we closely look at the train data set so we have so many columns so, so let me look at the columns so if i do the compact so we have this uh, sex column as well so under the sex we have the male female male female so we have to like uh, if we have to use this column uh, there are two option either drop this column don't use this but if it has impact on our uh, output class right then we can't drop it otherwise our model accuracy will be decrease so we have to use this but this this column contains the categorical values male female or any other value right so we can't uh, feed the categorical values to the uh, to to the our machine learning model so we have to convert 
this categorical guide values to the numerical values so one one option is to like uh, apply some function uh, write uh, like our own function uh, in the python and apply that particular function on that particular column so let's pause so df of uh, sex is uh, the particular column right and we will have we will apply the function so we we have write uh, one function so df of sex is a particular series so series is means it's a list so when we apply the function so uh, what it will do is it will like uh, feed one value at a time so first it will pass male then it will pass female then it will pass female 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 and then n a n right so we are ex uh, accepting the values in the function and we are saying that if value is male then it will return um, one and otherwise it will return zero so if i look at uh, the data so what would be the output so our output would be so for whoever this is a male it could be one and whoever is the female it could be zero and wherever it is n a n so we have the n a n as well so uh, it it becomes zero because uh, we said uh, whatever the else is we have making it zero so one approach is this like uh, we can write our own function right and we can uh, apply that particular function uh, on the particular column but if we have multiple columns let's suppose we have the sex column and we have the title column as well and in the title column we have mr mrs right then we have to and let's suppose that column is also uh, useful let's suppose just just an assumption so we have to convert that column into the numerical then we will like apply even more uh, function here right df of title then df of title dot apply then function then we will like write one more if condition if value is equal to mixture then return one if otherwise uh, return zero right so this is one approach we can apply this there is no issue but we have inbuilt function that is the pt dot uh, get dummies so what it will do is it will convert the categorical value into the dummy indicator variables uh, dummy indicator variables means like uh, one zero right so uh, if we use this function then we don't have to like uh, uh, use uh, our own we have we don't have to write our own function right so so in the first step like uh, we write our own function and uh, we have converted it, uh, uh, the categorical value into the numerical value but now in the second example we will use the same data set but rather than the rather than the like uh, uh, writing our own function we will use the uh, like uh, pandas function that is the get dummies function so we are we use the pd dot get dummies and we are passing the whole data frame either we can pass the whole data frame or either we can pass the particular column if we pass the whole data frame so whatever uh, it will find the categorical column so uh, right now in our data frame only we have the one column but let's suppose if we have uh, uh, 10 columns in the data frame and out of 10 columns we have three categorical columns then it will convert all the three columns into the uh, uh, numerical features but uh, leave that part let's uh, let's consider first on we have just uh, one column so we have only one column so what we we'll do we just just a uh, one line that is pd dot get dummies and we have passed the data frame and in our data frame we are only one column that's why i passed uh, df otherwise we can pass to df of sex that is a particular column all right so and i am storing the output to the temp column then we could see automatically it converted like we have two feature like female and the male then it it created two columns female and the male and automatically it converted into the numerical uh, numbers so we now we don't have um, no more uh, categorical values we have the numerical values so you could see in the row number zero we have the male so under the male column we have one we are in the row number one we have male under the row number in the male column we have one then other th uh, than two three four are the female in the two three four uh, in the female column we have one and the in the male column we have zero in the nine we both have the zeros right so in this way like uh, we can uh, uh, convert our uh, categorical feature to the numerical features so we don't have to write uh, our own functions but 
along with that there are uh, so many functions so right now we have just uh, seen only this part like pd dot uh, pandas dot uh, get dummies and then pass the data but there are so many other options so what are all those options and uh, when we have to use this option so we could see like the name of the column is set so automatically like uh, and we have the two categories feature the male and the female and automatic automatically sex is abandoned with the underscore character all right but if we want like rather than the sex we want some another prefix so we can pass one more parameter that is the prefix let's suppose we want rather than the sex we want some another prefix that is test so we can pass prefix is equal to test and then now rather than that rather than the sex underscore female we have the test underscore female and the test underscore male so if you go, go to the official documentation next uh, attribute is the prefix so by default prefix is none so whatever the prefix uh, it has automatically it will like uh, use that so uh, automatically it, it has used the sex prefix because the column name is sex otherwise we can pass our own prefix right so the string will be appended to the particular column name right the other operation is the prefix separator so by default separator is underscore so you could see by default uh, separator is underscore even in the sex underscore female test underscore. but we we don't want like underscore as a prefix so we can pass uh, uh, like our own prefix like prefix separator is equal to plus so now the column name is test plus female and the other column is test plus male generally we don't uh, use this uh, uh, like uh, in our day to day life we just only use this pd dot get them is df and one more at, uh, attribute i will like uh, uh, cover uh, uh, just after few minutes so we have one more attribute that is the prefix separator plus so we have covered this prefix as we have covered the data as well we have covered the prefix as well we have covered the prefix separator in the data we can pass the series and we can pass the data frame as well so we can pass uh, both the things so we can pass the data frame or otherwise we can pass the df dot sex that is the uh, series now now we have the uh, dummy na so we have cover prefix we have cover prefix separator now we have the dummy na so by default the dummy na is equal to false a dummy na means uh, like uh, we have the na values as well right and if we want uh, one more column so by default uh, like it consider only two attributes right male and the female but ideally there are three attributes male female and nan so if we want uh, like uh, one more column with the nan then we can what we can do is like we can pass one more attribute dummy n is equal to true but uh, generally we don't uh, do this uh, in day to day life but our what we generally do is we will impute the values of the nan either we will like uh, drop the particular row or otherwise uh, we can uh, put uh, uh, some value like uh, replace with value either male or female but like uh, we have one more facility here dummy n is equal to true so if we create dummy n is equal to true, then it will consider three attributes that is male female and n a n then all the values are zero except uh, like uh, one in the like uh, last row because the last is the n a n right now we have covered this uh, uh, drop and uh, we have this is like important uh, column uh, drop first uh, like by default drop first is equal to false so that means like uh, uh, if we have two attributes male and the female it will create uh, like uh, two columns if we have three attributes let's let's suppose male female and transgender it will create three three columns right but uh, let's suppose uh, uh yeah so we have created test female and uh, test male uh, 0 1 0 1 0 1 but out of this these two column we can like keep only one column as well right and uh, just looking at the one column we can tell okay which one is male and male which one is female so by looking just only uh, looking at the male column we can tell okay row number zero is male row number one is male row number two is female row number three is female row number four is female row number five is could be female but it, it is not male or either it could be an male right so we can tell so there is no need to keep uh, two columns right so if we want if we don't want then it's okay if we want to drop one column 
then what we can do is we can write drop first is equal to true or otherwise we can manually drop the column as well like uh, using the data for df dot drop and then pass the uh, uh, column name and then the axis like corresponding to which axis whether we are dropping a column wise or whether we are dropping the row wise but if we in the get dummies as well if we pass drop first is equal to true then whatever the first attribute so here we have the two attributes female and the male but the first attribute is female first attribute means like first column so first column is a female so what it will do is it will drop that particular column and it will keep only one column that is a test male All right so generally we do this so now let's see like one more example but this time rather than the one uh, one column i have created two column but the other column is uh, like by default numeric so like male male and uh, i have give some dummy age 8 10 20 30 40 50 all right so we can pass uh, like as i told you we can either pass the particular uh, uh, column as well like df dot size then it will convert uh, to the like uh, uh, numerical data Uh, category column to the numerical data or otherwise we can pass the uh, full uh, full data frame so we have passed the full data frame so a is by default numeric so it will not touch this so other are the category column it has uh, changed that all right so let's suppose rather than the one category column we, we have the two category column so we i have take third example in which we have like we have the sex column we have the age we have the title and we have to use all the three columns so age is numeric we can pass uh, this to the machine learning but sex and the title are not the numeric so and we have to use both the column let's suppose so we have to convert uh, this to the categorical column so one op one approach is like write your own function but rather than writing own function we can use the pd dot get them is df now we have passed the whole data frame so it will automatically like uh, analyze what All what all are the category column? So it has analyzed. Okay, sex is the category column and title is the category column, and it has automatically categorized what all the different categories available. So it tells okay we have the two categories male and the female. So it create two columns sex sex female and the sex male, and the title categorically as well like it convert uh, like within the single function it convert all the category columns into the like a uh, numerical column so title mrs and uh, title mr all right so so i would suggest like uh, if we have to like uh, do this so rather than uh, writing uh, your own function uh, better uh, like uh, use this pd dot uh, get dummies like uh, inbuilt function otherwise uh, we have to write so many if else if else if else condition and for each and every column right so that will be even the length of the code will be uh, very high and uh, and there are two advantage one advantage is that uh, you now aware of, of the like uh, what is the get dummy so in any interview if someone ask okay can you tell me the functionality of the get dummies so you can easily tell so get dummies is basically useful to convert the category column into the uh, numerical columns right so one option uh, one advantage is this the other advantage is that you don't have to write your own function and the length of the code uh, is uh, very small just a single line rather than uh, writing uh, your own functions uh, right so we have covered data we have covered prefix we have covered prefix separate uh, separator we have covered dummy na and we have covered the drop first so these are like uh, the useful column even i have note where like what is column what is parse and what is d type right i mean also they don't have any like in in the official documentation like uh, they don't uh, d type is equal to float yeah d type is equal to basically like uh, by default like uh, we are getting 0 0 1 0 that is the integer but if we want uh, uh, to be float number so we can uh, give the d type is equal to float and uh, rather than the 1 0 1 0 it could be 1.0 1.0 1 so it could be like a floating number right uh, we have only two option like the columns and the sparse so leave that uh, for the timing even i have not explored that and also like uh, they have not uh, provided any example right so this is a small video about the pandas dot uh, get dummies so start using pandas dot uh, get dummies rather than writing uh, your own function whenever like uh, you have to convert uh, categorical data 
uh, to the numerical data so just pass full data frame and automatically all the categorical feature uh, will be converted into the uh, numerical features and later on like if you want to drop any you can drop or otherwise uh, within the uh, pd dot get dummies you can mention drop uh, first is equal to true it will drop that or otherwise uh, like uh, once you have the columns you can like uh, later on drop that yeah so that's the end of the video oh, thank you